Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be setting the alias and autocomplete. So let's start with the alias. An alias to a command such as kubectl just makes it easier to type in various commands as you're, you know, as the many times that you're typing in, you know, kubectl, you know, get paused, get deployments, uh, get namespaces, etc. Typing the kubectl over and over again may become tiresome. So you can set up an alias, whether that be K or KK or whatever you want it to be. It could literally be anything. Uh, you know, setting it to something that is shorter might be easier for you. We can take a look at the aliases that we already have on our Linux system with the alias command. And I just grepped out kubectl to show you that for my shell, it's uh, alias to K. kubectl is alias to K. And so you can set the alias by typing in alias space k equals kubectl or kubectl or kubectl, however you want to however you want to say it. If you want that to stick, the next time you open up a new shell or you log out and log back in, you can echo that same thing to your bash uh, bash rc or bash profile or whether you have uh, zsh or fish. Uh, those all will work as well. For the simplicity of this lesson and so that we can all stay, stay on the same page, we'll be uh, using the bash RC because we're going to docker exec into the kind control plane. If you remember from the setting up and installing your uh, kind cluster lessons. So again, I'm going to docker exec it kind control plane and then get a bash shell. Right now, we, we can type in kubectl get nodes, or NO for short. But what if we type in k get nodes? Uh, the, the k command's not found, so how can we fix that? Let's go ahead and echo alias k equals kubectl to the end of our bash rc file, which is located in our home directory, bash rc. And then we can go ahead and source our bash RC. And then when we run k git nodes again, we'll see that uh, command has been aliased and therefore works just as kubectl works. In addition to that, you may want to set up autocomplete. Autocomplete is the ability to complete the names of Kubernetes resources with the kubectl command. So if you're you know, getting into this cube system namespace, for example, you'll notice that the pod names are quite long. So you can just hit the tab key, type, you know, type the first couple letters, and hit the tab key, and then it will autocomplete the, uh, the name of the pod, which is nice. So let me show you how to do that. And for this, we can use our package manager. So we can do app update ampersand ampersand, which just uh, ties two commands together. I'll do app install dash y and then bash completion. Let's clear the screen again. And this time I'm going to echo source left caret open parentheses kubectl completion bash close parentheses and close quotes. Um, and I'm going to add that to the end of my bash rc file, which is located in .bash rc. Uh, so what this does is it um, just adds the completion command for kubectl to our bash rc file. Uh, we're going to source that. Every time we start up our new shell, we're going to source that so we can use that uh, you know, bash autocompletion feature. Now we're going to echo source user share bash completion bash underscore completion and uh, put that at the end of our dot bash rc file. And what that'll do is it'll source the bash completion script. So the bash completion script, if you list out the contents of the user share bash completion uh, directory, you'll see that um, bash completion is in there. And so we want to start that script up so that we can use bash completion for uh, future shells. And then 
we're going to echo complete dash o default dash capital f and then two underscores start underscore kubectl k okay. and what this is going to do is it's going to set up a completion for kubectl uh, so kubectl specifically and now to use it in our current shell we can source source our um, bash rc file again and now let's do a k with with a namespace uh, dash n stands for namespace cube system and i just hit the tab key there to uh, tab complete cube system and then get pods and then let's just um list all the pods and let's do that command again and see how the pod names are are quite long so let's do cube scheduler for example so i can type the first few letters and then hit the tab key and then it'll auto complete that pod name which is very handy for those long pod names and also uh, being able to, to quickly get through uh, running those kubectl commands i did want to uh, just mention that uh, you know this link will be available below but the link that you see here is uh, a link to kubernetes documentation which uh, lists out the instructions for uh, doing the same thing for other shells and just in general, adding, uh, enabling kubectl autocompletion. All right, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.